Well, welcome to Skills to Pay the Bills and today's segment of JustAskFreeman.com. I'm your host, Freeman Owen Jr., and, and uh, today we're covering part two of our series that our producer, Tia Young, conducted during our absence on creating estate plans for living and long-term care. I'm very privileged to have our returning guest, attorney William S. Fralin, a nationally known elder law attorney, the founder and shareholder of the estate planning and elder law firm PC in Arlington, Virginia. Attorney Fralin has represented over 7,000 clients throughout the Washington metropolitan area. In addition to the practice area of estate and incapacity planning, the firm practices chronic care advocacy, which incorporates on staff social workers into the life planning process. And we recently learned from Tia that Attorney Fralin will launch his cable television segment under Skills to Pay the Bills right here on Channel 10 very soon. So please welcome Attorney William Bill Fralin. Welcome aboard. Well, Freeman, thank you so much. Thanks well, for having me. Okay, good to have you here. Great to be here. All right, we're going to have a great discussion, folks. Um, uh, uh, Bill, we know that uh, you talked a little bit about asset protection with Tia during the last show. Absolutely. All right. Uh, I'd like for you to elaborate more on the definition of asset pr uh, protection with respect to retirement planning. Well, asset protection, I mean, there's a, we, fortunately, the, the public is, is far more cognizant of the need for planning mm -hmm. for retirement. And, but a lot of that planning is anticipating for retirement. Mm -hmm. And the asset protection planning, which is sort of my specialty, is, is one of the greatest risks we have. Mm -hmm. For people over age 50, which includes me, uh -huh. <laughs> is not the stock market. Exactly. Right. It is what if I get an unfunded chronic condition? Mm -hmm. Lou Gehrig's, Parkinson's, dementia, Alzheimer's. What most people don't know is the cost of care for the highest level of care is in excess of ten to twelve thousand dollars a month. Easily. So even mm -hmm. if I followed all the great advice of, of, of a very wise uh, financial advisor. If I have this and I haven't planned, then I could lose all of those hard-earned assets. That's true, yeah. And mm -hmm. thwart all the plans I've made throughout my life. Mm -hmm. So asset protection planning is really critical. It's very rarely discussed. And to in order to be to be able to do that planning, there's just some basic steps you need to take that are not that that are not that difficult, but again, unfortunately, a lot of people fail to do so. Exactly. You know, there's been, uh, well, there's a surge uh, in not only um, skilled care, which is your expertise, sure. okay, Absolutely. when it comes to living trust, et cetera, but the cost of uh, health care itself has increased. So we have two big parameters here, health care, in increased cost of health care. Correct. All right. And of uh, skilled care or long-term care. And you mentioned uh, the cost. Now, in 2015, there was a study that found that almost 40 million people, about one out of six uh, adults, had provided unpaid care to another adult uh, during the previous 12 months. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, later on, were you gonna talk about the stress and strain of uh, administering? Oh, uh, it's unbelievable. Not only the cost itself, Bill, but the stress and their various steps. Uh, you have, uh, let's say, all caregivers, about 38% of them have high emotional stress. All right. Absolutely. And approximately 19%, uh, according to the survey, have physical stress. Now, on the far end of the spe spectrum, Bill, what do you think about when we talk about the care for Alzheimer's or dementia, uh, when you have those type of patients, uh, how do you coordinate the, the caregiving cost, uh, or how do you uh, tell your clients, hey look, your, your parents or aging parents have reached the stage of dementia or, uh, or either Alzheimer's, how do you break that down uh, cost-wise for uh, the person that is, is ailing. Well, mm -hmm. the, well, what we do is first off mm -hmm. we describe because see, frequently people don't have never they've never been old, mm -hmm. so they've never thought about being old, and or uh -huh. mom and dad's never been old, exactly. so they're like this is a new concept. 
But I explained to them there's three levels of care. The first level is independent. That's you and I. We get up, brush our teeth, go to work. Exactly. The second level of care is a relatively new development over the past 30 or 40 years, which is assisted living. Uh -huh. And actually, some of them actually were just started here in the metro area. Uh -huh. And these are facilities where I made, made a little bit of care to a lot of care. But they are an alternative to the highest level of care, which uh -huh. is called skilled nursing care. Okay. And skilled nursing care is the most expensive between in retro areas between ten to twelve thousand a month. Uh -huh. And the criterion is does Bill require assistance with two or more activities of daily living? Exactly. Grooming, right. bathing, eating, toilet, etc. Right. Now I will identify these three categories and say there's three ways to pay for it. Uh -huh. One is what 98% of the public does, which is private pay, which right. means you just write checks until you're out of money. Exactly. Yeah. Spend yeah. down is yeah, another word down. for it. Right. The second is long-term care insurance, which mm -hmm. is insurance that if you need those two activities of daily living, the insurance will pay. Mm -hmm. The third are entitlements, and there's essentially three. There's mm -hmm. VA, if you're a vet or mm -hmm. the spouse of a vet, there's some opportunity there. Right. Medicare. Under Part A has a has a benefit that if you go to the hospital and you stay three days, uh -huh. they will pay for up to 100 days of rehabilitative care exactly. to get you better. Uh -huh. And then the final entitlement is Medicaid, and it's called long-term care Medicaid, and uh -huh. it pays for over 70% of the skilled nursing beds in America.